My name is Atoile, and my 19-year-old son, John Michael, and his girlfriend, Roslyn, were killed by a drunk driver. Well, John Michael is my firstborn. Then there is Nicholas, is my last son. And Prisca, my little girl, she's in the middle. Well, John Michael, he was very smart. He loved to be perfect in his schoolwork. He loved uh, writing poetry, but he also was very artistic and musically inclined. He played jazz piano, he played the saxophone, but uh, he liked playing sports more than that. It was the last day of exams leading up to spring break. So I was getting ready to go out of town with um, my Sunday school class. So we were at the house, John Michael was there, and Roslyn was in the, in the car, waiting in the car. And we went inside and I said, well, John Michael, um, you know, we're gonna eat something. He said, well, Roslyn wanna go in, uh, and change clothes and we'll be right back. She, he told me she was the one because he, uh, for, for Valentine's Day, he wanted to get her something very special. And he was working at a Photoshop and he asked me, could he borrow the money and he would pay me back because he wanted to get her something very special for Valentine's Day. I was home packing to go to Memphis. Prisca was packing, I was packing, we were laughing and joking around. And we were like waiting, saying, now John Michaels should have been back because they were going to come back and eat. So we said, John Michael, they hadn't made it back yet. Called his phone, didn't get an answer. It got later and later. I guess it was almost 11 o'clock and there was a knock on the door. I peep out the door and there's some police officers. And I'm like, man, Nick Michael must have been speeding or something, it's something. So I just, you know, I opened the door, I walked him into the living room and I went and got John. I said, John, um, there's some policemen here. So he came and they had a license in their hand and, and they said, uh, sir, is, is, this, is, this, is this your son? He got the license, and John had the license in his hand, and I'm just standing there listening. And then they said, you know, we're sorry to tell you, he's been killed. And that's when I saw my husband just fall to his knees. He's just six feet tall, and he just fell to his knees, holding John Michael's license in his hand. But then Prisca was like, what about Rosalind? And then the other gentleman lifted up, and he had the purse in his hand that John Michael had bought for, for Rosalind when I had gave him the money. And the man said, she was killed too. Then I find out that this was a 32-year-old man, drunk at six o'clock in the evening. Other vehicles had stopped and he was swerving in and out. He went around an 18-wheeler and he went around two other cars to speed through there and to hit John Michael and Rosalind. They died at the scene. His blood alcohol was over three times the legal limit. I was already a member of MAD. I joined MAD back in 2002. I wasn't speaking at that point. I was just, you know, just a member of MAD. And, and, and my kids were a member, you know, of, of SAD. You know, Nick, uh, John Michael was a member of that in school and, and the other children. Never knew that I would be calling, you know, this organization that I've been sending money to, that I would actually <laughs> need their services. The first time I really found out that there was technology already available that could prevent drunk driving was when I went to DC. I was disappointed in the fact that the stuff has been there all this time and it could have prevented, you know, this wreck. 
that that was very disappointing. So that's why I'm so adamant now. Okay, it's out there. Let's do something about it. Let's use this technology. I am really in favor of the Heart Act because this could have saved the life of my son, John Michael Patrick Jr. The DD that killed my son, it was reported, was driving sporadically in and out of traffic. And if he had that technology in his car, would not have run into my son and killed him on impact. My life, the life of my entire family and his friends have been impacted forever. John Michael deserved to live. Thank you.